So guys, this video is crucial. So we own a car rental business. With a car rental business, we usually have cars and we usually have auto loans associated with that cars, unless we're just buying straight cash cars. But if you finance the car, this video shows you how to record this asset on your financial sheet, which will be on your balance sheet, how to record this asset to your financial records. This is very important when it comes to tax time, when we want to use these deductions, and when we're going about, uh, you know, just categorizing our transactions and we're paying car notes. Because when we pay car notes, we actually have to link it to the auto loan that we're paying, right? So let me show you how to create an auto loan. One second. So this is an example of an auto loan. Let me split this screen uh, right here, right? So this is an example of an auto loan that we have. Let's say it's from Wells Fargo. So if we go into our chart of accounts on the left-hand side, chart of accounts, you will actually see auto loans, right? So this is one of the accounts that we brought in from the beginning. It's a long, it's a liability and it's long-term because it's usually over a span of a year, over a year, more than a year. So that's why it's long-term and it's a note payable, meaning that it's going to show up on our balance sheet. It's not going to show up on our profit and loss. It's going to show up on our, our basically our assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, right? Equity is going to show on that side. So here's how you create a auto loan for your business. So we're going to go over to long-term liabilities. It's going to be a note payable, but these details types don't matter too much, but it is going to be a note payable. And this is a, let's say this is a Wells Fargo loan we're dealing with, right? This is an example of a loan. Let's, so we'll name it Wells Fargo auto loan, right? And if you have multiple Wells Fargo, number it number one, you can number all your loans, number one, two, three, four, five, just to keep it organized, right? So number one, Wells Fargo auto loan. Descriptions, just as well as Fargo. And this is for, the description is mainly for you. So Wells Fargo, auto loan. Now notice we already have an auto loans account. So this is gonna be a sub account. This is gonna be under the auto loans account. It's gonna fall under. So once, if we have all these other loans, maybe four or five different loans, it's gonna be accumulated to the auto loans. So we're gonna show, how, so the auto loans, main category is going to show how much auto loans we have in total. So it's important that you make it a sub account of the main auto loans account. All right. So we're going to say we can, when we're going to say we're going to um, track this finance from the date we open the loan. Right. Oh, let me, let me move that back. There we go. The date we open the loan, which is February. And let's, and this is an old one. So let's just say it was this year, right? We're going to do February 18th, 2021, right? This current year. Let's do it like that. Just to keep things simple. All right. So, and the account balance is, is the date that we opened it. It's the date that we opened it. So the account balance, what we want to show on there will be this number here, the original loan amount. And this is extremely important because anytime we make basically note payments, we're going to categorize that within the banking tab to this loan. So it's going to be knocking down this loan amount each time we record a car, car note payment to that, to that loan. So we have our original loan amount and because it's open to date, that's how much the loan was. We don't need to worry about all these other interests and whatnot. The monthly payments, we don't need to worry about any of that. We just need the loan amount, the date that it opened. And what loan is it? This is a Wells Fargo auto loan, our first one. So once you put that, put those numbers in and verify, you can save and close. And we now created our auto loan. So some of my clients have five, 15, 20 loans that they're going at a time. So it's important that you get your auto loans recorded properly within your chart of accounts. So when we go to the banking tab, 
and let's just say this is a Wells Fargo auto loan. Let's say this was a payment. We're just assuming that is not a payment, right? But we're going to assume that this is a payment. It will literally go. We will literally type in auto loan Wells Fargo and record that to that transaction. It said, so this is us paying a car note, right? We wouldn't record it. Our car note, that note, mm -mm, we're not doing that. It's going straight towards the auto loan payment. So that's how you record, that's how you record an auto loan. And I showed you a mock example of us actually paying down auto loan, assuming that this transfer was a car note payment. So we know how to record our auto loan that we receive within our car fleet, and we know how to categorize it when it comes down to um, our banking. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something.